Brethren, and good morning, everyone that's here today. <clears throat> you, every single one of us, you and I, we are all the church of the living God. And as the church of the living God, Jesus, he dwells. He dwells inside of each one of us. The Holy Spirit, the Father, and Jesus. They dwell in us. And having, knowing the responsibility that God is dwelling in us should make us really have a deeper desire to get into His Word, to really drink in and imbibe of, of God through the Word of God. Just think about it, you know. Other people don't know Jesus the way that we do. And yet, like a car, a car needs oil. It needs, it needs food. Oil, it lubricates the parts. It allows the parts of the rest of the engine to work. Everything to run smoothly. So without the Word of God in us, without that foundation deep, deep rooted in our soul, we cannot, we absolutely cannot be effective witnesses for God. And also, the new people that come, the people that come to the church, that come here, that are not Christians yet, if we don't have that strong foundation in the Word of God, we're not able to really help them to come to know Jesus. I want to read a, a, a passage um, in 1 Timothy 3, verses 14 through 15. And Paul writes this. He says, Although I hope to come to you soon, I'm writing these instructions so that if I am delayed, you will know how you ought to conduct, to conduct yourselves in God's household. That's who you and I are. Which is the church, brethren. We are the church of the living God, the pillar and the foundation of truth. So as the church of the living God and the pillar of the foundation of truth, I want us to just focus on our responsibility in God's word. I will share with you, when I first came to know Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior, I remember just immersing myself in the scriptures. I was so uh, into the word of God. In fact, uh, I remember I lived at my mom's house and... Um, I started reading the word and it it just it, it was so deep. I would remember reading in Peter about a new heaven and a new earth. And all of a sudden my mind was opened. My heart was open. I felt this deep understanding come over me. And with that deep understanding, I began to realize that, oh God, you've called me to a calling that is so great. And as the church, we are called out. We're called out to be lights and witnesses. And I had such uh, enthusiasm for God's word, I didn't even want to eat or drink. I remember my mom kept saying, you got to get out, you know. But I was like, I was just, just, just drinking of the word of God because it really, it really, really was reaching deep down into my soul. And I know, brethren, that in today's world and in today's society and the things that are going on right now, we have a lot on our mind. We see a lot of evil. We've seen a lot of hurt this past year. And we've seen a lot of people die. And you know what? It's easy to focus on other things. Things that are not as important as the Word of God. And God's Word is life. God's Word gives us life. It gives us comfort. It gives us hope. It gives us strength. It gives us power. So if we're not eating and drinking of God's word, we are not really effective for God. Even though Jesus loves us, even though he dwells in us, if we're not really studying God's word and disciplining ourselves to really drink and eat of God's word, we are just not effective as Christians. And so... What I would like to encourage us to do is to be that kind of person. To be the person that, I say, so what? So what? We have the scriptures up here. Why not have God's word in front of us so we can re read it and drink of it and just have it with us? You know, you know, David, just his 
heart, his soul, his, he cried out for the living God. You know, he was out in the field and he was tending to his sheep and he said he meditated on God's word. He loved God's word because really it is food. It's food to our souls. And God is alive in us. And so when we think about it, the Holy Spirit, the Father, and Jesus Christ, they dwell in us. And so as they dwell in us, they want the Word of God to be deeply rooted, rooted down deep, so that we ourselves will be ready. Because what does it say? It says that the Holy Spirit will teach us all things. But if we're not deep in the Word, we don't know the Scriptures. <laughs> Honestly, we don't know and he can't work as strongly as he could to bring to our remembrance the things that we need to know and do so that he can work with us, so that he can lead us and guide us and direct us. There's a scripture in Acts that I like. We're in the last days. We don't know how long the last days are going to be, but it says, Peter says in Acts 2, verse 17, he says that in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. And so, <laughs> you know what? As a, a vessel of Jesus, as a Christian, I want to be prepared so that when God wants to give us those dreams, when God wants to give us the words to share to others, I can be ready. We can be ready. So others will know Jesus. And I admit to you that I'm definitely not perfect in this way, but I just want that to be my New Year's resolution. I'm so glad that we're going to have the 40, 40 days in the Word because we've got to get back to the Word of God. And knowing too, brethren, that we are pillars. A pillar is like an anchor. It acts as part of a foundation of a building. The anchor attaches itself to the foundation. So we should be able to explain God's word to new people, people who don't know Jesus, or those who are already Christians but just need to be discipled. And also, a pillar is, it acts as an ornament, an ornament of beauty. Think of it. We represent Jesus Christ as a pillar of truth. So, Jesus, we are a reflection of Jesus to others who don't know him. So, as a reflection, if God's word is in us, people see Jesus. They see him in us. So, this is important. So, since the foundation of truth is God's word, the more we read and meditate, the stronger our foundation is in Jesus. And Jesus asks us to grow in, in grace and in knowledge. And God's word, as you know, the whole Bible has gems. It has gems of wisdom. You read the Psalms and you see how people cried out to God and how they prayed and they just shared their heart. You read the Proverbs and you get wisdom as to who we should be hanging with and who we shouldn't be with and how we should conduct our lives and our finances. The Word of God is fantastic in that way. And we, we need to hunger. We need to thirst for God's Word. So, let's pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, I know that it's a new year and a new day, Lord God. And Father, Lord God, I just pray, Father, that your word would be so important to us that we would have your word with us wherever we go, Lord God. The Bible is so important. People were inspired by you, Lord Jesus, by you, Holy Spirit, as men wrote the scriptures, Lord God. And people died for the word the Word of God that we now have, which is the greatest Word that there is, and that, you know, it's over the centuries people have tried to destroy the Bible, have tried to destroy the Word of God. There are people in foreign countries and in other places, they don't even have the Word of God that is the physical Bible, but yet we have it, and we don't even keep it with us, Lord God. 
Father, forgive us for the way that we have been in that way. God, help us to love your truth, to love your word, Father, to be grounded in the word of God, to be able to know the scriptures and to be able to let other people know about the scriptures, Lord God. Help us so that we can be more solidly grounded, Father, that we hunger and thirst for the word. And Lord God, that we grow in our understanding and of the truth and our, our depth of loving and living with the truth, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Father, for every single one of us, Father. But we need to take our Christianity more seriously, Father. And I pray, God Almighty, that we'll be so grounded in the truth that when false doctrine or false this or that happens, we won't be shaken, Lord God, but we will be comforted. And we will know, God, that you are in us and that the Holy Spirit guides and leads us into all truth. So thank you for your word. And we just ask God as a New Year's resolution that you will just put it deep within our heart and renew in us, Lord God, the word of God, prayer, Bible study, just having that foundation and being strong in that way. We pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.